Hi guys, today I would like to discuss on the topic of uh, security review made easy with uh, Iris Risk plus ChatGPT. Before explaining the topic, uh, let me highlight the problem statement. In general, we will do some security reviews as part of our uh, day-to-day activities for few architecture or any feature changes or product changes like that. So uh, while doing those security reviews, uh, we will do some research uh, like what is the architecture, what, how, how the data flow is existing and, and in which data flow we should be more focused on and what things we need to cross check uh, across the architecture likewise. So we will do some research and we will form a set of questionnaires or the best practices whether those are aligned with our architecture or not so for doing all this kind of research we will spend uh, dozens of hours uh, to form the questionnaires it might take one day or two day likewise so uh, by applying this approach uh, we can eliminate uh, some dozens of hours and we can uh, 3x our productivity uh, in our uh, daily work life when we are especially doing the security reviews so let me tell you this approach with the example of uh, aws transfer family uh, let me highlight the uh, architecture about it uh, suppose you have a customer a and customer b uh, they want to access their data from the s3 so what you have done is uh, you have implemented uh, SFTP data delivery uh, with the help of AWS transfer family. So here a client can uh, client can access the SFTP server and SFTP has the access to S3 so that once he has access to SFTP he can uh, SFTP server he can able to download uh, his files from the S3 bucket. So client will connect here via uh, SSH. Uh, here uh, they can use SSH password based authentication or they can also use by exchanging the keys uh, as part of the authentication procedure. That is uh, up to our end only how we are configuring that. So client will interact with the SFTP uh, server and he can able to download his data. So this is the overall architecture so uh, in first step uh, you have to understand this architecture and you have to draw dfd uh, like this if you want to know how we can draw this diagram in iris risk you can watch out my previous video uh, where i have explained how to draw and how to identify uh, threats and all so our first step uh, we have done we have drawn a dfd uh, for the architecture uh, so let me see what threats uh, that it is uh, suggesting where it is uh, focusing on in which data flow so here uh, for SSH clients it is giving uh, around two threads and AWS transfer family one thread and S3 bucket uh, there are uh, three threads threads so uh, yeah let me click on anything uh, sensitive data is Compromise through unauthorized data access. Description. Attackers can gain access to sensitive data when the data is transit in clear text or when the data is stored without uh, encryption. Uh, so uh, if you take the second uh, data flow from SFTP server to S3, uh, how it is getting the uh, files from S3 uh, during the transmit, do we have any encryption or not? Or, uh, data at rest in s3 buckets uh, do we enabled any kind of uh, encryption over there so those two uh, topics uh, that it is uh, highlighting and also it is giving us some uh, weaknesses common weaknesses due uh, within this uh, data flow and how we can countermeasure that just examine uh, this what it is suggesting and uh, let us form security questionnaires uh, based on this set https for uh, sensitive inf in information sensitive data is exposed in transit okay then we can form a questionnaire like uh, 
sensitive data which is transmitted uh, should be enabled with encryption uh, encryption in data transit so uh, this is our first uh, checklist uh, that we need to check across the architecture whether we are uh, following that or not so likewise based on this information we can form certain uh, questionnaires or the checklist where we can be more focused on and uh, use s3 mfa to do, uh, delete uh, sensitive information so it can comes under misconfigured s3 access policies apply m rules identify and uh, audit all your s3 buckets restrict amazon s3 bucket access so we should restrict s3 amazon bucket access so not opening to public and also acl should be enabled okay uh, so likewise we can collect some data uh, from this tool and we can form certain security questionnaires uh, that is the first uh, first step uh, we can eliminate a lot of research and uh, we can simply understand what it is saying and we can uh, write down the uh, security questionnaires the second step along with the tool knowledge or uh, tool intelligence we also should use our human intelligence as well uh, because uh, i don't think always tools will cover in all directions so since we have drawn the dfd we know the architecture uh, based on our security knowledge we can also form few security questionnaire by using our uh, human knowledge uh, suppose uh, let's take example of this see how uh, this flow is having integrity checks like customer a can access his data customer b can access his own data so customer a can't able to access customer b data so how it is performing this uh, integrity check so we should uh, do the audit for this integrity checks also uh, with respect to customer and also when this sftp is interacting with s3 sftp must be consume some im role so we should check that uh, im role policies also in order to ensure that it follows list privileges access so uh, until now we have uh, written down uh, the uh, questionnaires from threat intelligence that it is giving from iris risk and also based on our previous experience and security knowledge so along with this uh, tool we can also use uh, chat gpt uh, to get uh, more security uh, questionnaires it will give a lot of security questionnaires uh just type the query like this prepare a list of security questionnaire to do the security review for the flows of customer to sftp data server and sftp server to s3 buckets so i am asking it uh, during these two flows uh, where i should be more focused and where i should cross check the security best practices uh, across the architecture and all so it is suggesting me uh, something customer to sftp server flow we should check this authentication and access controls how customers are authenticated before accessing the sftp server and also it is suggesting about uh, encryption uh, in data transits transits and also it is also uh, suggesting that we should check on data integrity 
logging and monitoring what kind of logging and monitoring mechanisms are in place for customer interaction with sftp server uh, suppose uh, who all are logging to our sftp server those kind of logging should be enabled so likewise is it is suggesting uh, a security questionnaire uh, for the flow of customer to sftp server and also it is suggesting sftp server to s3 bucket flows uh, some sort of security questionnaires how is data transmitted uh, what access control policies are in place to govern data transfer from sftp server to s3 bucket and data validation integrity and data retention so by combining all the questionnaires from uh, tool knowledge plus our security knowledge we can get a uh, lot of data so we can simply copy and paste this data so by applying human knowledge and also with the help of this uh, tools uh, we can reduce the uh, time that we are spending on uh, the research so after you collect all this kind of information uh, then you can read each and everything and you can uh, do the deduplication because uh, same question can be repeat uh, twice uh, by uh, from these two tools and also with the human knowledge so you can just eliminate uh, the duplicates and finally you can form a comprehensive list of questionnaires uh, so uh, later you can uh, focus on these areas and you can do the security review uh, across the architecture so it will reduce uh, some research time for you and it will improve your uh, productivity so if you like the video please like uh, share and subscribe to uh, this channel so that it can be helpful for me to do more videos and more content Thanks for watching.